Hello long riders, welcome to Thursday's video and uh, we are going to tie the elk hair caddis. A deadly deadly pattern with some of my takes on it. I changed little things here and there than your standard elk hair caddis and I made it a little more deadly so let's get to the vise and tie these up and get them in your box. So caddis will be here soon. Let's get to the vise. We're going to start with a size 14 standard dry fly hook. And we're going to tie in our 70 denier black standard thread. And we're going to tie in a grizzly hackle. Now we're going to dub it with some of this ice dubbing. And this is one of the big changes I made in this pattern. I fished this dark dubbing when there was tan caddises coming off and caught many big browns on it uh, so this is the dubbing I use on almost all my elk care caddises it's a dark it's almost olive but it's a gray it's a really good interesting ice dubbing again from the winnings ice dubbing box Wrap the hackle forward to where your thread is, palmer style, and you get to the thread, tie off the hackle, and cut off the leftover waste material. Now you're going to take your elk hair, measure it for length, and then you're just going to secure it with a couple wraps of thread to secure it down. Now, what we're going to do is apply a little super glue to the thread, and we're going to wrap that part that we put super glue on around the deer hair. And then, once you get that wrapped around the deer hair, pull on it snug for a couple seconds till the glue sets up. After you set up, you can pull on it here and break it off like I have, then cut off the waste later. Um, this won't need, you won't need no whip finish, but we have to finish this fly, so let's go on the rest of the fly.
You want to pick up on the deer hair and trim that close as you can to the eye of the hook so you can get your as tight as fly on. Another amazing fly in the books. Let's get these tied up. Check out the other videos from earlier in the week. And one that YouTube recommends for you. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip. And I will see you all next week. Have a fine rest of your Thursday.